day I just received my new foam top piece and what I'm doing here is uh, getting ready to cut in a rifle into the Pelican 1750 gun case. After I got through the first one, realized that uh, it's much easier than it appears to be when you first start looking at it. You start off with a piece of chalk. And the idea is, is you're tracing a line around the rifle and any of those items that you choose to put into the case. In this particular case, I am putting in a uh, five round magazine. I'm putting in the an extension on my scope. It's a sunshade. And I'm also going to cut in the bolt, as you can see here, so that I can remove the bolt. So again, just start out with a piece of chalk. And what we do is we just trace it. We trace the lines and go all the way around it completely. You want to organize your case up front first. Decide where you want to put it. I've left some room here for an additional magazine here, an additional magazine here for the future. Also, if you want to put in a cleaning rod, that can go in underneath the first layer and against the second layer. So you want to get all the pieces in there. Now, when you go to cut, the recommended way to cut is with an electric carving knife. That is by far the simplest, by far the easiest, and we're going to get to that in just a little bit. But you're also going to want to make sure, too, that you don't put yourself through an extra effort by trying to cut down inside, let's say in between the Harris bipods and the barrel. That area can stay open. What you can do is make yourself a cut at the end of your bipods back to your barrel. And even though you'll have an open space here, you'll have the same thing here between the scope and the barrel stock combination here. There is absolutely no reason to try to get in there and try to make any type of cuts in there. So you can just go ahead and cut that out of there. We're also going to talk about doing the corners. Corners can be a little tricky. What you want to do is take your carving knife, your electric carving knife, up to a 90 degree corner and stop it. I find that I get a much cleaner, much neater corner than trying to take that electric carving knife and try to make a turn with it. So what I end up doing is I come to that corner, stop the knife, pull the knife out, and I have a very sharp pointed steak knife that I use, very sharp. And what I do is come in the other way, on the other side of the 90, and I go ahead and go down through the foam to make a nice little cut so I can get the electric carving knife in there and then I can make my corners, my 90 degree corners. Very important. Otherwise, you're going to get some rounded corners, you're going to get some overcut corners, and you can put foam back in. You can take contact cement and take the pieces you've cut out and cut them in if you've made a mistake. Um, it takes a little bit of practice to do that with. Uh, so you want to make sure that you've got your corners cut correctly. Anything that's rounded, for example, down here on my stock, I have a rounded area for my hand, for the grip. I want to make sure that I do a nice, smooth arc with that. I want to cut that all in one cut. I don't want to stop halfway through the arc and try to start it again. When you start a cut in an arc, you've got to go all the way around it. Don't stop. Otherwise, you're going to see a start and stop mark. So anyways, this is the outline of the rifle that we just put onto it with the chalk. So again, as we cut this, we're going to cut it one quarter inch inside the line, which is really critical on this. Um, I'm, we're going to have one end held so that we can hold this straight. Again, you want a good vertical line as you cut through it. You want to go slow. Real important just to go slow. And then if uh, everything goes well, we should have a complete cutout here with a perfect fit. So we're going to get started here. 
We'll pull the foam out of the case first. And it's a good idea to go ahead and plan your cut well in advance here. Um, you don't want to be thinking about your cut as you're going part way through it. Again, remember what we're doing is we're getting, we're doing straight cuts. When we get to the 90 degree turns, we're going to stop. We'll do a slight incision from the other side, the other side of the 90, so that we can insert the uh, cutting blade so we can get these perfect corners that we're looking for. So we're going to get started here, and we're going to make another incision. At that point, so we can turn the knife and start making a cut. Okay, so far so good. Again, we're holding a quarter inch inside the line. Now we got a straight cut in here to do. small incision to make that turn so you can get the knife in. Okay, here we go. We'll start with the bolt. Again, you want to start your cut with your sharp knife. Gives a point to get your electric knife in. Okay. Again, we stop at the 90s. Okay. Our bolt is now cut out. And here's what I do with the bolt. You want your bolt recessed, in fact all your components recessed, but you don't want it down real deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm saving this piece right here and I'm going to reinsert it and then I'm going to push the bolt into it, collapsing the foam and over a period of time as your case opens and closes, as it puts pressure on, that fo foam will eventually give you a slight recess in the foam so that it makes a nice little pocket to put each of the components into. Okay, there it is. It is all cut out. The overall length of time, give yourself about an hour to do it. And again, just take your time. We'll go ahead and sh shut it down here. We'll put it into the case and we're going to do a trial fit on the rifle itself and see if we need to do any trimming. Okay, we're going to start fitting the pieces in. And again, what you're going to find is because we undercut approximately a quarter inch all the way around, it's going to make a nice fit for the magazine to recess into. And again, like I say, it, over a period of time, it'll slowly create a slight pocket. And cutting a little smaller too, it really fits nice and tight and gives a very smooth edge to everything you've cut in. And again, like I say, you may need to do some trimming. This is our trial fit. Again, you're going to want to just kind of press it in as you go. Open it up kind of with your fingers. You can kind of test your fit. So far, so good. And it'll be tight in the beginning. Over time, it'll slowly get a little easier to put in. Things will fit a little better as you go. Okay, there it is. That's how you cut in the foam in a Pelican 1750. And uh, glad you could join us.